guys, okay, today I'm going to be painting four glass bottles. I've got them here as you can see. This one is filled with water, so I'm going to try something different with that one compared to the others. I've also got some cute little fairy lights with the cork in, so one of them is going to be a little bit more transparent than the other ones. So I've got half water, half oil. Well, kind of like half, I don't know, this is what you get if you ask me for a snake bite. So this is where the magic happens. Oh! Oh! Love that noise. Anyway, so we're going to add some glitter. We're going to add some stars. I've also got some glow in the dark um, paint. Perfect. I'm going to put the lid on. Oh my god. That looks disgusting. Mm. Or is it magical? I'm gonna keep on shaking. It's like I'm making a cocktail. Let's have a look. Because the, all the oil should go back together. And you can see it is doing. Wow. Let's just turn the light off for two seconds. See if it's dark enough in here to get the glow in the dark effect to go in. Hmm. Maybe not. But wow, that does actually look super awesome. <gasps> Blah. It looks like <laughs> weird. It looks weird. I'm gonna leave that over there and see if all the oil joins back together. So I'm just gonna move on to painting one of the other bottles, you know, one that hasn't caused me stress yet. Yet. Blue all over my ends. Yes! My absolute favourite. Just gonna need that over there. And we are going to get some blue. Get some pink. And some white. And we're gonna mix it all together and what do we get? Oh my god. <sighs> you can sit over there, Mr. Bottle. For now, I'll move on to one of these ones. I got these bottles from Amazon. So I got these when I was making some gin. My gin is fabulous. And I'm just gonna get some yellow too. <sighs> Love. So I was really struggling to do my video today because everything was just like yellow on you <sighs> just in the paint pot please mix and paint mix and paint mix and paint mix and paint perfect purple purple oh shit we got too much we don't do swearing on my page thank you so we've got a nice paint brush gonna do some classic leopard paint. Leopard print, amazing. So I'm gonna do that all around the bottle now. Alien juice. So I'm gonna leave that one over there to dry with my little buddy. Now time for this one. What am I going to do to you? I feel like I'm gonna colour one of them in completely. Oh yeah. You are going to be a bubble queen. Bubble queen. Bubble queen. Is 
Leave that one over there to dry, along with a Zila Bud Binti one. Oh, magical. I wonder if I could have heard. I love doing things in free, so it's boom, boom, that's going to be actually absolutely 100%. This one, I'm going to be a little bit more conservative with. This one, I'm going to be just a little bit more conservative with. I think I'm going to do a nice relaxing Palm Springs vibe, chilling flowers, cutesy kind of thing. Is there someone at the door? Oh, my dog's insane. On his glass bottle painting. I love it. And now I'm going to leave that one to dry before I add anything else to that. So I left my other bottle to dry. They're dry now. Um, I want to come back to this one though because I found this pen that I got. It's like a little UV pen. And to use a UV paint, you've usually got to charge it with the pen. So I'm just going to charge this for a little bit. So that seems like that might be pretty charged. I'm going to go ahead and pop the light off again. And what do we get? Absolutely nothing. Okay, oh, the underneath is glowing. Oh my god, it looks like we're in a chemistry lab. I guess that's the best it's going to do. Well, you win some, you lose some. So I'm going to come back to this one first. The one where I drew the nice little greeny leaves on. So I want some purple and yellow. I'm just going to get this little, like, fan brush. Perfect. That is so cute. Um, so now I want some really teeny weeny little yellow balls. So I'm gonna get a small brush for this. I'm not sure we can squeeze another one on. So we'll just leave it at three teeny weeny little yellow ones. I'm gonna give our first quick wash. So I'm just gonna put little pink centers in. There we go. So I'm going to let that bottle dry because this one's actually finished now. And I'm going to come back to this one. So I had a cute little idea for this one, actually. So I'm just going to go wash my palette because I'm going for a totally different colour. So I will be right back. So I'm back with my new colour, um, orange. But I'm a little bit scared, actually, how it's going to sit on top of the purple. So possible meltdown going to happen. Let's see. Oh, no, it sits on top. Yay! So I'm just going to do some tiger print. We've got leopard print. Let's have some tiger print. Oh, your Tony's going to be proud. Rawr. I've got a confession. I've never done tiger print before. It's scary. There we have my tiger print. So now I've already got the orange mixed up. I'm going to do the next bit on this bottle because I, I do want orange for it. I'm just going to let that dry because it's definitely going to need another layer. So I'm living this cute little orange colour. So I'm going to continue with the orange and I'm going to do the inside of my leopard prints with little orange. Oh, I love that. Look like little purple fried eggs. <sighs> Still not dry. So while these are drying, I'm actually just going to, because this one is a finished one, so I'm going to put the lights in it. Because this is the one I wanted the lights in, so we'll see how this looks. The lights are in. Oh my gosh, it looks like a little fairy garden. I'm going to pop the light off. Big light. Oh, little fairy garden. That is really precious. I love it. Oh my god. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this bit one more time because it just needs a little touch up of paint. Okay, I'm a little bit undecided about this bottle. I'm not sure if I want to do a leopard on the front or an alien because, like I was saying earlier, alien juice, alien juice. I think I'm going to go with the alien. Just going to get some yellow and some blue. 
gonna whip up a lovely green. Just right in juice at the bottom here. juice. So I put that over there to dry. Okay, these feel pretty dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and get a lovely paintbrush. I'm going to put some black onto this. white paint in my hair. Um, this old tiger's kind of questionable. Whatever. Oh, so, we've got alien juice, tiger juice, and of course, the amazing fairy garden. And then this monstrosity. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.